Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a move called Around the World and Back. Here's the move. That's it. Here is a slow mo. All right, so this move is very similar to the around the world, but it has a little bit of a twist. The around the world, you get to this position and you do some other stuff. This one, when you get to here, you're gonna do an aerial, flip the knife, catch it, and we're coming around like this. That's kind of the general summary, but let me get into a step-by-step -step tutorial now. All right, guys, so to start this one off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna begin this move by just doing a double rollout. And the easiest way to start this move is you grab onto the safe handle about three quarters of the way up, halfway up, something like that. If you grab a little lower, it's kind of easier um, to start off. And what you're gonna do is you're, of course, to do a double roll out, right? You're gonna take the bite handle over the back of your hand. You're gonna take the back of the blade, put that over the back of your hand. And while you're doing that double roll out, you kind of want to think about scooting the knife um, up. So the first one, right, the, the bottom of the handle is near my palm. After I do the first flip out, you can see the bottom of the handle is in the middle of my palm. The second flip out, you can see the bottom of the handle is like way up at the top of my palm. So kind of each roll I'm doing, I'm letting the knife kind of get farther and farther up my hand. And what this allows me to do is pinch pretty low down with my thumb and middle finger, um, just like this um, at the end. And this pinch here, as you've seen in the slow-mo, this is kind of the pivot point. So what's going to happen is we're going to pinch with our middle finger and thumb. And we're going to spin the knife around uh, just like so. So you can kind of just practice, you know, flinging this thing around uh, just like that. So again, right from the start, right, we're going to do a double rollout and let the knife scoot out as high as we can. So we wind up pinching with our index finger supporting, our middle finger and thumb are pinching low down. For me, it's like right at this bottom hole here, probably about, you know, three quarters of the way down the knife, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flip the knife around just like you saw me do. Before we do that, what we're gonna do is take our bottom two fingers, we're gonna curl them in so that when we flip the knife around, it's going to pass our bottom two fingers, it's going to swing up like this, and we're gonna catch it in this position right here. So as the knife is swinging around, passes my bottom two fingers, comes up here, my remove my thumb and pinch with my middle finger and ring finger, and then the knife is gonna come up just like this and I'm gonna catch in this position here. This is the kind of classic around the world position. So now that you've kind of mastered that flip around, we're gonna go into the next part, which is kind of the fun part of this move, which is the kind of aerial flip around thing just like that, where the knife goes from pointing outwards to pointing around just like this back towards you. Now, the most important things here, there's a bunch of different things. One is the setup. So when you're doing this, um, when you're doing the uh, flip around, just like so, when you're setting it up, you want the knife to be as close to the tips of your fingers as possible. And also you want it to be as close to the ends of the handle as possible. If you think about it, if the knife is way down here and you try and throw this in the air, it's gonna hit your palm. And if the knife is way down here, you throw this in the air, again, it's gonna be hard to get your palm out of the way. So the closer you are to the tips of your fingers and the tips of the handles, the better you're gonna be. It doesn't have to be like right at the end or anything like that, but you'll see when I do it, right? I wind up right about here. So you kinda of wanna make sure you're kind of about, about the same as me. Now, when you're flipping this thing around, it's easy to think about it like, okay, I'm gonna somehow keep contact with it and let it spin around and, and do that. Really, this should feel a lot like an aerial. You are taking the knife, you're throwing it in the air, it's spinning around and you are catching it. And just as important with this aerial is throwing it and getting it to kind of spin in the air is getting your hand extended and out of the way. So the main thing that's gonna happen, I'll see if I can show you this going wrong. You're gonna throw this in the air and it's gonna hit your, hit your hand and it's not gonna work. And so the big part of this is immediately after you kind of fling the knife in this direction, you're gonna to wanna to get your hand out of the way so the knife can spin, and you're gonna to wanna to get it back um, in the way. So 
You can just practice this. I mean, you can just kind of hold the knife here, throw it in the air, spin it around. You're gonna get stuff like this where you catch a little funny, that's fine. And this move I find is easier when you are kind of in the flow. So when you've done the first part, you've done this part, but if you can get it, master it just like that, you're really on the right track. So now that you've kind of mastered that a little bit, one of the things you actually kind of want to think of, which I didn't even mention, is when you are throwing the knife, so you're kind of throwing the knife around, really you actually only have to catch it with your middle finger and ring finger, like so. The index finger doesn't even matter at all. So you're throwing this in the air and you're catching with these two fingers. Your index finger can stay out of the way and that can actually make it a little bit easier. So again, right from the top, you have kind of, you know, you do the move, you spin it around, you do this aerial, it flips around, you catch it like so. When you catch it, it doesn't really matter too much where you catch it on the handle. Um, if you catch it way too low down, it doesn't work super well, but um, anywhere you catch is usually fine, somewhere along the middle of the handles. So you've caught here and you've caught with just your middle finger and ring finger, and now we can go ahead and finish this move, which is not so hard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your index finger, place it on top of the safe handle. You can see that the bite handle is gonna fall. We can remove our index or our ring finger. Then we can flip the knife around, just like so. And we're going to flip it around and let it kind of slide past our middle finger and catch with the thumb, just like so. So again, right from the top, we're gonna to do that flip around. We're gonna throw it in the air, catch with our middle finger, ring finger, insert our index finger, remove our ring finger, flip the knife around. It's going to spin around just like so. We're gonna release and we're gonna catch the safe handle just like so. And once we've caught here, we're gonna take the bite handle and flip it up just like that. So that's the whole move. Hope you guys like that one. I find this one, this one to be really fun. And one of the things you can experiment with too, there's actually like a ton of different fun things you can do. By throwing the knife like this, you can catch it in all kinds of ways and there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. So that's just an invitation to experiment. Uh, this trick was, as far as I'm aware, invented by a guy named Indiana John. He'll be in the description. I just discovered his channel. He's got a lot of cool tutorials and stuff. So check him out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys like this one. Peace.